This video from Sharpel, we're taking a look at how you can program your XEA307 register to work with a barcode scanner. Now this video presumes that your barcode scanner has been pre-configured with the correct software to work with the 307 and also that it has the correct cabling to work with the 307 as well. So if you haven't bought your scanner yet, there are things to double check before ordering because Sharp themselves don't manufacture barcode scanners. You need to be very careful when ordering it that yours is going to come pre-programmed or pre-configured to work with your register. So obviously the one I'm using in this video has, is, has the correct cable and the correct programming but as standard when I scan an item I, I, it doesn't read it on the register. And this is because there's some additional programming you need to do on the machine to make sure that the port will communicate with the scanner. It's really straightforward but it is hidden away uh, in the programming mode in the device configuration settings. So to get there, you press mode, let's move the scanner out of the way. You arrow down to line six or just press six and then press TL and S to enter the programming mode and then setting and then you're looking for line 11 which is device config. So you can scroll down to line 11 and press TL and S or you can just type in 11. Um, from there we're looking for the scanner settings uh, which is line 6. The only thing you need to change um, certainly with the scanner I'm using is the top line. Um, you need to change it from what it says there by pressing subtotal, toggling up to the different option TLNS and then TLNS again to save it and then if we escape cancel again now, when you scan your barcode now, um, the, the scanner will read the barcode. Obviously the till won't recognise it unless you've already programmed the item in. So I've got a barcode here. Scan that so I get the message undefined code um, coming to the register. And then it basically goes into like a learning mode where it asks for the price and also the associated department. And then you can set it up to be auto delete or non delete. Auto delete is a feature where the if the, the barcode product isn't scanned for a certain amount of days, then it, the till will automatically delete it from the from the memory. So I'm going to set mine up as that. I'll have another video explaining in more detail how you properly program a product, but that's the emergency programming to enable you to sell an item half programmed in the reg mode. Okay, yeah, so that's how to set up your XEA307 to communicate with the barcode scanner. Uh, there's other videos appearing on screen now um, with more information on programming the Sharp Cash Registers, which you're welcome to watch. You can also subscribe to this YouTube channel or visit sharphelp.co.uk for more. Thanks for watching.